recently. So joining us to discuss the difficulties of being single during the holidays is celebrity matchmaker Rachel London. Rachel, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. So let's talk about this. Why do you think so many people feel lonely when it's, you know, yep. the holidays are coming? Yep. Well, obviously it's a time of family. It's a time of connection. And it's a time during the year where people are really reflecting on their year. So they're kind of winding things down. You're looking at what you've accomplished. And when you slow down the busyness, you remember what actually matters. And so you think, oh my gosh, I've spent the year doing X, Y, and Z, and I'm still single. And a lot of times people have a lot to celebrate. Either way, if you're celebrating because you've had a great year, you're like, I want somebody to celebrate with. I want someone to share this with. And then you kind of see it, you know, other people too are in love and it's like very cute and cozy, even though it's still warm here in Miami. It's still cozy. It's still <laughs> it cozy. cozy. Um, yeah, it's cozy. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult for so many people. So let's talk about men and women in their 30s and yep. 40s, because I know as you get older, it, it can feel that it's harder to find love. I know I went yeah. through this. It was almost scary. So yeah. why do you think, or what advice do you have for people who are in their 30s and 40s who are looking for love? Yeah. What would you tell them? So I say this so many times. My clients are probably tired of hearing me say it, but I say stay open, be open, because I think we have these outdated lists. You know when people have their checklist of, I want someone who's this, and I want someone who's this. And I think that we kind of stick to those things without reevaluating ourselves. And so it's really important to reevaluate ourselves and what actually really matters. It's not about the, you know, I want a man in finance, six, <laughs> six five, blue eyes. Blue there's eyes. a reason that, that took mm -hmm. off is because people related to that because these standards that we have for other people are and so expectations high. for ourselves are so high. So I think be open. Um, I always say tell everyone you're single. And there's no shame in your game. You know, let people know that you're out there and looking. I have a couple of girlfriends who yeah. actually tell me they want to give me a little business card with a QR code with their face on it and I'm their all number. For it. Look, we I gotta mean, get creative. It's hard out there. It it's really hard out is. There. I mean, this was you know a fear of mine. So uh, just thinking about the shrinking dating yeah. pool. When you're in your 30s and 40s, if you haven't found yeah. that person, what would you say to someone who has has that fear that there are just less people available as you get older. Yep. Okay, so that probably is true, but the good news is you only are looking for one person. So if you kind of put a reframe on that, you can look at it from a positive perspective, which is you know yourself better, you are more discerning about what you're looking for, and you're only looking for one person. So it's okay. It is okay. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Uh, there are options out there and people, you know, it's also okay to be single, right? If that's what yeah. you want. But what would you say are some common challenges that people in their 30s and 40s find when they're out there, when they do put themselves out there? Oh my goodness. Yeah, there are. It is, it is tough A out struggle. there. It and is. I think one of the things is being able to go out there and not project past hurts onto a new person. So by the time you're in your 30s or 40s, you've experienced some life, which is a good news because you also have some grit and you've been through some things, um, which makes you more attractive to the right partner. But and more is, confident. And more confident because you've been through some life. You're more embodied. You know who you are a little bit more. You know who more. you are. So, yeah. But that's all extremely great advice. Thank you so yeah. much for joining us. You can also follow Rachel. She has lots of advice on her social media as yeah. well. Um, lots of tips and great advice as you get older and you want to continue dating. Thank you so yeah. much for joining My us. Pleasure.